Hello everyone, Andy Schwab here with your Farm and Ranch News. The latest President's Notes from Brad Boner and the American Sheep Industry Association's monthly publication talks about their opposition to the OFF Act. That of course is the legislation titled Opportunities for Fairness in Farming Act that has been introduced in both chambers of Congress. Boner says if enacted into law, the bill would have a major detrimental consequences to the American Lamb Board's ability to do meaningful and needed industry research going forward. He added American sheep producers have twice voted to support the American Lamb Checkoff and the USDA provides stringent oversight to the producer funded program. Now, as you may know, that OFF Act aims to reform checkoff programs that is being carried by New, Jer uh, New Jersey Democrat Cory Booker. Well, the Working Wild You podcast that is presented by Jared Beaver, assistant professor and extension wildlife specialist at Montana State University, and Hallie Ma uh, Mawald, that is, uh, chief programs officer at the Western Lands Alliance, announced that they are, are about to launch their second season of their podcast. As you may know, the podcast puts a spotlight on the challenges and successes of sharing and managing working landscapes that support both people and wildlife. Of course, season one focused on wolves in the West and did an excellent job highlighting every angle for the predator. Their season two, uh, two, two that is, a trailer anyways, titled Imperiled, and it looks to be, a, and sounds that is, a great source of information and ideas for ranchers and landowners. So these details, that is, for the podcast can be found at workingwild.us. Oh, we need to take a quick break, but we'll be back in a little bit to talk about your ag markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always going to be another something. I grew up in a generation of you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps. If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Welcome back friends to your Ag News Engine Markets. Engine manufacturer Cummins Inc. has reached an agreement in principle with the United States and the state of California to pay a $1.657 billion penalty to settle claims it violated the Clean Air Act by installing emission defeat devices in hundreds of thousands of engines. Defeat devices, of course, are parts or software that bypass, defeat, or render in, uh, inoperative emissions controls, such as emission sensors and onboard computers. Now, the company alleged that it installed the defeat devices on 630,000 model year 2013 and 2019 Ram 2500 and 3500 pickup truck engines. The nearly $1.7 billion fine is the largest civil penalty that has ever secured or ever been secured, that is, under the Clean Air Act and is also the second largest environmental penalty ever secured as well. Well, cash cattle markets continue to be quiet on the shortened holiday weeks. However, lower box beef prices are not helping the feedlots as they attempt to gain back those major losses they've seen lately. Cattle auctions are also on that seasonal pause. However, I did take a look back on a year-over-year -year comparison for Torrington Livestock. Their final sale of 2022, they saw their light six-weight steers drop in a gavel just over 203 a pound, whereas this year's final sale, they saw the average on those light six-weight steers right at 264 a pound. And for the sheep market, Sioux Falls did not pause for that holiday break, and it paid off for the coal use as prices were 5 to 10 cents stronger than last week, with the prices now in the 80 cent per pound money. And grain traders also moved the wheat complex higher again yesterday as limited volume allowed for the higher close three out of the four trading sessions this week. That may have been helped out also by the falling U.S. dollar index as well. Well, there's a look at your ag markets, but as you can see, I'm getting a little eager to start my vacation. I'm going to be heading to the U.S. beaches for a few days to come back you know, to cover some conventions when I do fly back in. I only say that because I'll be gone for quite a bit of January, so don't worry. You won't see me for a few weeks, but until then, have a happy new year and go Pokes.